Hi, and welcome to this final video on monitoring user engagement within Safe Medicaid. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how you can monitor different aspects of an individual's engagement. In the last tutorial, you may remember that we used the Search for Users function to identify groups of users that met specific search criteria. We could have used any of the individual records we listed to drill down and look at a specific user's engagement, and that may be a useful way in which to start your search. However, in this tutorial, we'll assume that you want to search for a specific user from the outset. As we did before, hover your mouse over the Users menu item to open the sub-menu and select the first option, Search for Users. In this example, we need to ensure that the individual user's checkbox is selected, and it is by default. You can search for a specific user using a number of different search criteria, which include Safe Medicaid username, student number, name or email address. In this example, we'll use a Safe Medicaid username. Enter the search term in the box and click on search. Click directly over the name in the list to view the user record of the selected user. You'll see that this particular user record contains five sections that are displayed as separate panels of information. The number of sections will depend on which modules the user has access to. By default, when the record displays, only the top section or panel, the user record, is open. The left side of the panel contains details of the selected user, while the right side of the panel shows the usage history, including the date the account was first registered, the last login date, and the total number of logins. To open any of the other panels, click anywhere on the chosen panel as shown here. In this example, we'll open the panel showing user engagement with the Essential Skills module. The left side of the panel shows the usage history. This includes the dates when the module was first and last used, the total time in hours, minutes and seconds that the user has spent studying the module, and the total number of times the module has been accessed. Beneath this, we can see the progress data for each chapter of the module. You can see that the progress is shown as a percentage complete alongside each chapter title. Note that we are using dummy data, however student records will display a range of percentages in this section. The right side of the panel lists all of the self-administered or practice assessments taken by the user in this module. The list shows the assessment date, medication domain as an abbreviation and the score. To view any of the detailed assessment results, click directly over the chosen record. From the user record, you can also view the assessment history of users. Viewing and interpreting assessment results is explored in detail in another tutorial in this series. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video tutorial.